Watch us be on the wrong trail, eh? <laughs> oh no, this is it. Not as close as I thought we'd be, though. Well, I kind of knew the ATV ride was going to be horrible, but it was even worse than I thought it was going to be, so uh, we're cutting her short on the four-wheeler here. I know there's a, a canoe down there, so I think we're just going to huff some paddles down. I think we're about half a kilometer from the lake, and it's, it's, it would be more work to get the bike there than just to, to hike our gear in, so we're going to go give that a shot. On him, eh? There's one in that tree. Yep. Yep, nice one. Oh, oh that is too cool. That frog is gone. Oh, look at that. That is cool. It's my first largemouth in years. On like the most classic largemouth bait ever, the topwater frog. And underneath that shady, shady tree. Hey, look at that. That frog is gone. I'll give him a splash. That's not a huge bass. It might be three pounds, but that's a super cool largey. Oh, that's a, such a cool start. Like I said, I haven't done this in a long time. And we were here and fish blow up, but there's not really much for vegetation. It's only June. I've never really bass fished this early. I think what's going on is they're going to have to try to find those sparse pockets where there's a little bit more structure. There's lots of lily pads out here, but it's not, uh, there's no actual vegetation. Oh. That was cool, man. That is a small bass to be sucking down a frog. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. This is crazy. This is kind of too easy. It's like a foot of water. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I just saw one jump like in the back back. Like. Oh. I thought it was a smaller one that had me in weeds. You never know when they're in junk like that, if it's just a whole bunch of weeds or if it's a big fish. That's a big fish. Got it. Oh, that's even bigger. Look at this thing, man. And you guys saw where I threw that frog. There is 15 inches of water here at most. And they are just going nuts in here, eating all kinds of stuff. Like there, there is fish surfacing all around here. And that's a giant largemouth. I don't care who you are. That's got to be 20 inches. Like he's not super fat, but th that's a four pound bass anyways. That's amazing. I saw him jump. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh, oh that oh. bugger. Splash of lens. Are you kidding me? 
Did you see that? Did you see how long my bait was in the water? Not even a second. I hadn't even closed my bail. He must have had his mouth open it before I was hitting the water. That's insane. These fish are absolutely charged up. Not big, but on top water, I'll take it. That was nuts. So frog probably just became my number one favorite way to catch largemouth. Cause damn, that's fun. Mm -hmm. But spinnerbait's probably still my confidence. Look at this baby. Oh, that was cool. Well, that's a rock bass. Oh, no. Don't film that. Oh, he landed in the boat. You gotta eat him. Oh, be very sunny. Big. Sunny? Cool. Look at that. Actually, I haven't caught one of these in years. They are good eating if you get them big enough, and they fight really hard too if you can get on the big ones. Sunny. We're on a pot of suns. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah, that's a nice sunny. Keep them. <laughs> hey, cool. <laughs> oh yeah, he's he's working it. Look at him. He's gonna eat. <laughs> he's gonna eat. They're way in the back today. Oh no. Oh no. Check your line, folks. What happened? My line broke. Can, can, you, can you see it floating anywhere? Or is it in the mouth of the fish? It's in the mouth of that fish, probably. That's rough. I don't even know how we saw it, let alone ate it. And that. It's crazy stuff, man. It's pretty gratifying considering the insane amount of work we put in together. Mm -hmm. And the crap that's still yet to come. Huge, huge. <laughs> huge. 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 Okay, we're out of here. We had a pretty flippin' awesome day considering everything we faced earlier. Um, the trail ended up being so much worse than I had remembered it. So we didn't end up getting the four-wheeler to the lake, unfortunately. We ended up running here thinking there was a canoe on the lake. There wasn't a canoe, so we walked back to the four-wheeler, which was like half a kilometer of hell, basically. Dragged the canoe back here and paddled around. And uh, we had a bunch of awesome fish. Robbie got his first few largemouth and uh, yeah, had an awesome time. Uh, we're giving ourselves ample time to get back because we're not expecting it to be the easiest time going back So just to give you guys a really brief 
sort of simple overview of what we're doing. I'm not a bass fishing expert by any means. This area doesn't have a whole lot of largemouth options. We're kind of right at the northern tip of where they even exist in the first place. But uh, this is a small lake, obviously, but uh, this is late June. Yeah, about third week of June. This is actually the first year that uh, bass have been open this early in the zone, which is, is cool. It gives us an extra option. But the deal with this lake right now is that there's very little weeds and if you know you know largemouth they're, they're keying in on weeds more often than not so i've been here in the summer before and kind of found bass all over the lake on deep weed beds picking them off you know here there everywhere but this trip was the exact opposite of that they were all piled up in a back bay basically the only bay that had green weeds and lots of weed bed uh, lots of uh, lily pads sorry and they were just going nuts. We, we fished maybe a quarter of the lake. We stayed there all day and uh, we caught big fish, small fish, and they were in, uh, you know, ankle deep water in some instances. They were in almost no water at all. So kept it very simple with stuff that uh, other people on YouTube have described far better than me. They know a lot more about bass fishing. Um, simple stuff like spinner baits, uh, buzz baits, and the real killer today was the plastic frog we had. I only brought one of them in with me because I wasn't expecting it to be a real killer, but uh, it was 100% the ticket and I ended up losing it on a fish, but that's okay. Frog fishing is a whole other world that I have not really delved into before, but I absolutely love it, so I'm going to have to do it some more. But uh, anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.